Hey mages on the internet, Matt here from Total MTG, and welcome to today's video. Thanks to Watsi, I get to unbox another one of the new Planeswalker decks from Corset 2020, and today is the much requested Chandra Planeswalker. So, Chandra Flames Fury is the Planeswalker that you get with this deck, so I'm going to crack it open, let's have a little look what's inside, and then I'm going to do an upgraded version for this deck. So what you get in these Planeswalker decks, just to break it down first, you get a cool little deck box there. You get one 15 card booster pack, which is the core set 2020. You get the flashy, flashy foil of the Chandra. And then you get your 60 card deck to play on tabletop or online. Now, when I say online, what this does, for those of you who don't know, you get a little reference card in there that has a code on it. And with that code, you get to punch it into your Magic Arena, and then you get this deck on there as it is in card form which is really really cool now these come in around nine pounds in english money which is probably around 10 11 dollars so i think for the value a deck ready to play a foil planeswalker uh, the addition of putting the whole deck again on magic arena and obviously a booster pack as well these are very very good without further ado let's take a look first of all we're going to go for the booster pack and then we're going to have a look what's inside the deck so here we go a corset 2020 booster pack will it have anything that could maybe enhance the deck. Now, having a little look at the deck list for this Chandra base deck, what it is, it's got quite a few elementals, so that probably is the way that I'm going to go with the upgrade. Keeping it mono red, of course, because you don't want it, if you start adding other lands, it bumps up the pros of the upgrade, which obviously you can do, but then it loses sort of the essence of the deck as well. So now summon there is very nice. Can we get a decent red card? This season of growth, that'd be better in the green deck. Ogre, Siege Breaker, Apostle of Purifying Light, which is a nice card. And our rare, oh, it's, it's a lovely rare for me, though. Drawn from Dreams, this lovely blue little rare. Look at the top seven cards you love. Put two of them into your hand and the rest into the bottom into any order. Not going to suit this mono red deck and not going to be able to update with that. But there's a nice little treasure token. You do get these like semi-full art treasure tokens. I think they're really 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 cool and they definitely are an upgrade for the tokens so we're going to start off with our planeswalker that we get let me just zoom it in a touch there we go get in focus come on camera there you go so chandra's flame fury is the planeswalker that you get in this comes in with four loyalty for six mana all the planeswalkers in these decks are six mana they all come with 25 lands and a varied amount of spells i think you roughly get four rares in every single one of them as well so the plus one is chandra's flame deals two damage to any target which is very very nice the minus two deals four damage to target creature and two damage to that creature's controller. So you can actually play both of these, obviously, when they came in straight from play. The minus eight, Fury deals 10 damage to target player and each creature that player controls. So it's not an emblem, but it's an occurring effect that you may be able to. And I do emphasize may be able to do that multiple times. Very rarely, but hopefully the minus eight will be enough just to win the game. So you get the little booklet in there as well. I'm sure a lot of you have seen them as well already. And I'm just going to struggle to get in this and come back to you when I've opened it up. So here we go. The first rare that we have is a big dragon. Draguseth Moor of Flames for triple red dragon flying 7-7. Seven, seven. Whenever it attacks, it deals 4 damage to any target and 3 damage to each up to 2 other targets as well. This is a pretty, pretty strong rare here. And it does cost it though. It costs 7, but you're getting the 7-7 seven, seven, and you're getting a lot of other effects with this as well. So this, you know, it's a nice rare to have in a Planeswalker deck. Because remember, these decks are ready to play straight from the off. You don't have to do the upgrade if you don't want to. It's something that you can do over time. Chandra's Flame Wave, two damage to target player. Each player that controls, search your library for your Planeswalker. So every one of these Planeswalker decks has two of these in there of the varying kind to help you go and get your Planeswalker. Now in the upgrades, I've found that these aren't great generally to keep in. That's just something little of note to you. But it's, you know, there's other ways. You don't have to go and search your Planeswalker to actually win a game. There's other ways, obviously, you can do it. So the other rare you get in there as well is the, the ever... The ever-present Shivan Dragon. 5-5 five, five Flyer. It's got a fire where you can pump it up with the one mana. The red just using that. It's cost six and it's been reprinted. Well, it's just always been reprinted. It's nice. I mean, it's a staple for core sets, really. I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that. 5-5. Five, five, big, big Flyer. So Chandra Spitfire is a very nice card. 1-3. And it works well when you deal damage to opponent, which is non-combat. Because it gets plus three, plus null. 
every single time and that is a big trigger so when you see the upgrade i've got some i've got some good plans in mind for the chandra spitfire scorch splitter is in the deck as well attacks deals one damage to the player it does what red does you know it does a lot of damage this is what this red deck is all about now to me it's it's a bit of a mismatch it's got dragons it's got goblins it's got elementals it's a bit of a mismatch planeswalker deck i am going to say that straight from the bat and for when you're doing the upgrade for it it does need a bit of tinkering with this one ember hauler is in there a goblin 2-2 which is nice the double red is never going to be a problem for you playing this deck and it has an ability of sacrificing it for one and two damage to any target we've got some more mountains there removal in chandra's outrage it's a common it's cost a lot for damage target creation two damage to that creature's controller they're never going to give you premium removal generally in these sort of decks but you get what you're given and they're all still very viable to play against another planeswalker deck nice little elemental there they mix in the lands everywhere and they don't keep them <laughs> they always wonder but they don't keep them in order i know that's just me with me ocd uh more mountains more chandra's outrage you can see you do get multiples of everything in this and i will put the deck list below so you can fully see this if fury is in there plus three plus two instant speed trick very very nice and i thought you got some yep yeah, you do get some shocks as well i think it's a play set of shocks which is pretty nice. That is that is good removal. Two damage to any target. Very, very nice. See, you've got Hound in here with Goblins Elementals. You can see what I'm saying about the deck is a bit, it's a bit everywhere. It's a bit aggro. It's a bit counter, you know, pumping stuff up. And then you've got the Planeswalker. Um, so when you see the deck that I've made, it will make a lot more sense for you. And it's definitely a direction you can take this deck. There's a few different ways. You could obviously just totally change the deck and do whatever you want. Um, but yes, this is the deck. And I will now take you across to the upgrade version there's some very nice cards in there and then i'll explain some of the cards that i've taken out and obviously you've seen what's in the deck the deck list will be low dracuseth is a very nice rare and even if you don't use it in this deck if you play commander that will definitely go straight into your commander decks and i think chandra's flame fury can put in a chandra tribal edh deck because it's decent and it's a nice foil as well but this deck is ready to play straight out of the bat but let's get on to my upgrade now so now we're going to check out my new updated deck for the Chandra Blaze deck. So for those of you who don't know, once you get your code from your Planeswalker deck, you take it across to the store, put it in the redeem code, press enter, then it will just give you your deck ready to play from the off. So if I get to a Chandra Blaze, it's missing some cards because I haven't got some of the upgrade cards myself. But with this upgrade, what I've done is it doesn't always need to be upgraded. Upgrade doesn't always just mean expensive cards, rares, mythics and everything like that. I've actually only included four rares in this upgrade, which is the one and only Thunderkin Awakener. Because the way I've took Chandra Blaze is it had more elementals than anything else in the deck. Like I said, it was a mixture of hounds, everything. It was just a whole mixture of cards. So what I've done is taken the essence of the deck, which was elementals, and we've got a mono red elemental deck that I think could be pretty, pretty strong. So Scorch Splitter gets up from three to four straight in there. When it, This is a really nice common that you got with this. When it attacks, it deals one damage to player or planeswalker it's attacking. Very nice. Getting on the aggro, which is what you want to do. Because we're running. This is Elemental Calvacade Calamity. Calvacade of Calamity is whenever a creature you control with power one or less attacks, it deals one damage to that player or planeswalker that the creature is attacking. Now, what's great about this is Scorch Spitter is a one power. We've got Chandra's Embercat. There is two, but this will help us ramp, so don't worry about too much of that one. We've got Fire Urchin, though. The Thunderkin Awakener is a one toughness as well. Scampering Scorcher ends a battle, create two. 1-1s one and it's a 1-1 one one itself as well so this deck is going to work brilliantly with Cavalcade of Calamity this is a great mixture of a Calamity deck with Elementals and it's a really good take I think you can go on this deck so shock is obviously kept in there because you want the premium removal shock can do damage to your opponent and obviously just win games as well and i've added in four lightning strike great uncommon three damage to any target as well so back to more of the creatures now chandra's embers cat is in there it ramps into elemental spells which means we might be able to get something out a little bit quicker and it ramps a chandra spell as well because we are keeping in chandra's flame fury because i want to do that with all the upgrades it's what you've bought the deck for so that's in there as a one of now obviously we I'm adding in another little Chandra, Novice Pyromancer. It's an uncommon planeswalker, which is really strong. 
pumps up all your elementals to end of turn, minus it to maybe put out that Charger's Flame Fury, put it in a little bit earlier, and the minus two is doing damage to any target. Now, Fire Urchin, I think, is a very nice card, and it was one of my late additions in there, because whenever you cast it into the Sorcerer Belt, it pumps it and it gives it Trample. But if limit is, you know, if there's no limit to what how you want to upgrade this deck, can I suggest instead putting in where is the lovely? If you put in this card instead, we go to Chandra, Chandra Acolyte of Flame can easily take the place of the Fire Urchin, putting in three of these rares. The zero put in a counter on each red planeswalker you control. But the zero of putting two 1-1 one, one red elementals in is going to be very, very strong in this deck, especially with Cavalcade of Calamity. So if you want to put a few more rares in, chuck this in there and take out the Fire Urchin. I can obviously advise that if rares are no problem for you. So the rare that I did add in was Thunderkin Awakener. Has haste, can attack straight away and potentially get you a win with a Calamity. When it attacks, choose target elemental card in your graveyard with toughness less than Awakeners. Return that card to the battlefield, tap and attack in and sacrifice it at the end. So where this says, with toughness less, Scampering Scorcher, very, very nice card to get in. I really do like the interactions that this deck can have. Chandra Spitfire. 1-3, Elemental, when opponents dealt non-combat damage. Well, Calamity is non-combat damage. That will trigger every time. And Shock Will and Lightning Strike. But Calamity, if you get those separate interactions constantly, the Spitfire is going to get very, very big. Flying with Evasion, go over the top possibly as a big 10-3 flyer or anything like that. It's going to be huge and can definitely, definitely win you games. All we're going to do is cut down the mountains because we don't need the 25. We can cut down to 22 because if you have a look at this our average spell is 2.3 which is you know that's pretty pretty low so i think we can we don't need the 25 even with these big you know the big planeswalker there we're still very low highest mana is four up to that and i think 22 will be done very well if it means you know after a lot of testing with the deck you feel like you need one more chuck one more in there and just drop one spell that you feel like isn't performing or maybe you could put in two chandras drop the fire urchins and just add in one extra mountain so this is the upgrade Chandra's Blade, Mono Red, Elemental, Calamity, Calvaclade, Shenanigans. Let me know what you think of the upgrade and I really hope you've enjoyed this unboxing too. Thanks again to Wizards for sponsoring the video. I will be doing Vivian on the next unboxing. So all you people that love the Vivian deck and the new Planeswalker, you've bought that one. I will be unboxing that one very soon on a future video. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like as well, because it really does help support the channel. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching the video, boys and girls. You lot take care, and I'll see you on the next video.